Oh, oh said, yeah, because of the EPA. Yesterday, e, yeah, but yesterday the EPA the did, Cabot said their water's okay. They didn't do any testing here. What they did was they took the paper, looked over, and they and our our guy who just tested the water and results results are not back in yet, but he's a hydro hydrologist. Mm -hmm. well, you you know, oh my God, you're a you know when Craig found out you were an environmental uh, lawyer, he was like, <laughs> and I said, yeah, but he wears three hats. This man, there's Craig Stevens. Hello. Hello. So did, didn't Cabot at one point, they signed Brand. a consent order that, where they admitted they polluted your water, right? Didn't yeah. They? And then they come back later said, and back oh, later and okay. said that they uh, signed mayor's here, under the here. Oh, okay. And we're waiting for you that guys. That was their way of backing out. Uh, okay. Well, they, they agreed to the whatever the findings were of the DEP no. that implicated them. Okay. So they signed the consent order. They agreed that DEP said that they contaminated okay, the water. Okay, Okay. 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 So before, how, how much actual drilling did Kevin okay. do in this area before, before this, you know, there was a moratorium put in. How many wells? What do you think? Huh. Okay, sounds good. Oh. Okay, thanks. Maybe Bye. 60? Probably 20. 20. 20 maybe? How many wells do you think before the moratorium was put on Cabot? How many wells were in at that point? It's hard to th remember. Was still about think, six, eight? I think there's no... Kenny's got five. I thought it was about 60 of them maybe. Yeah. Then they 63, put the, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. yeah then, that's, and that's then they put the moratorium... Do you know how, do they ever project how many they're going to grow? I mean, well, they have a hundred so far at least, right? Endemic. It's over a hundred. It's over a hundred now. After picnic this last past year, yeah. they celebrated their hundred and first well. And how right. many have gone in since and finished. So it's over a hundred. And when we say well, there could be six at that one well site. So we're just counting one as one. Okay. You know what I mean? Well, no, we, I think we do count each well, no? We count each well on each site. So some sites are up to about eight or nine wells. Yeah. So they're counting wells at each site. Okay, so there, there's not eight or nine times 100. There's just 100. Uh, let's say 100 to 100. And it's going to be more than 100 because it was 100 uh, this past year or last year, maybe. I'm trying to think which picnic when they celebrated. They were all excited. They did 100. Victoria, she has a more accurate um, um, number base. So. But that's just yeah, dim that's just Dimmick and it's a small a area. Out there yesterday. You know? Yeah. I, I asked the supervisors who was signing their paychecks. Yeah. We all Cabot or Dimmick Township. They said, Well Dimmick Township I'm like, oh you guys don't act it. What'd he say? Then which one was it? Huh? Who which are you talking to, you? Yeah. Which which supervisor oh, here? No, oh. the three supervisors Neenan, are there. Uh, what are hey, they? Are you ready? But I, I told him that Oh, come down, we're talking. They didn't <laughs> All right. They didn't appreciate the it. The first day I talked to Matt, first Gerald Ellis, he didn't really know what to say. And then I talked to Matt Neenan. He was pretty cooperative the first day. It sounded like we were going to be able to get a consent order. But then when I found out that meeting happened yesterday morning. All I was out there just before that meeting happened. And they wouldn't While I was there, uh, Ronnie Teal and Ann walked in. There were some other guys walked in. Had it. Filled the place up. Hmm. Cabot employees. Did they really? Hey, like this. See? Yeah. This is and they what wouldn't let the against. residents in? Well, we weren't I invited. Left. <laughs> we only I was kind of outnumbered. <laughs> we, we kind of heard what was going on, and I wasn't going to attend the meeting. I never got a phone call and said, hey, Julie, we're having an emergency meeting. Come up. We didn't, we didn't know. I, Craig said, you better go up there. I thought it was you with your media up there about the water. So I'm. I'm looking and I'm going, what the heck, ambush, you know? And they're all up there taking pictures of me and laughing at me and pointing at me and, you know, like, ha, So ha, did you ever try to get into the meeting? Oh, no. Huh? It, it, when I pulled up and I swung into the church and I pointed my car towards the, the building, I had my camera and I'm looking, the doors flung open and everybody came out. The meeting was over, apparently. So... 
Nobody and I heard that, I was, nobody was, that yeah. was enough is enough, have, right? Yes, I have proof. Somebody, oh, call, somebody called the state government and said about the open meetings law? Uh, we're, I guess we're going to look into it. Um, yes, we've been calling the, uh, the PA uh, Attorney General. Attorney General yeah. And I called the office there and they told us to write letters. So I sent email complaining about uh, what's happening with the supervisors and their... Uh, non-open sure uh, meetings. Our uh, district attorney could do anything about it. Maybe he can advise us. I don't know, but I will. You know, we're 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 out here in Dimmick Township, and I would try to keep it at the state level. Yeah. Because you don't know who the district attorneys. The closer you get to the, the local money. Jason's eh, he's okay. You yeah. know. Jason yeah. is good. No, yeah. Jason's very fair. Yeah. yeah. Every time I've asked him anything. Yeah, he has yeah. been. Jason, yeah. Us, you know, I know he has called me or emailed me and said, "Hey, somebody's affected by gas drilling. Do you think you can talk to him?" So he must be okay, oh, you know. Okay. Um, but that's his, you know, he'll advise, and that's it. That's, that's as far as it goes. He he doesn't really step so on our, his toes. Like outside the nine mile moratorium, is there like furious gas drilling going on all around? You know? Well, I don't know if it's furious, but it's activity. There's drilling. Uh, compressor stations being proposed. Business as usual outside of the nine mile. Yeah. Yeah. And besides other parts well, of the where county. Do they, where do they sit? Where do we stand on the nine mile the uh, moratorium? It still sticks. It's Cabot still... hasn't complied with the consent order. They haven't done everything the EP asked them to. I thought that they were. Uh, Cabot was sending a letter to them, explaining what they have done, mm -hmm. and asked for the moratorium to be lifted. Yes. That's the whole thing. That's why that meeting was called yesterday. These people want the moratorium lifted. They want us to stop smearing Cabot and the town. Mm -hmm. So, nope, not till you fix it. That's my that's my goal. Guess what? Signs will come down. That will come off the roof. You put everybody's water to back back the way it was supposed to be. Then we'll you know we'll go from there. But till then, I'm not stopping. Well. I won't I mean, roll over for them. That's not really possible, is it? No, it's not. Of course not. Away. Well, yeah. unless they run, the original plan was to run a water line right. from oh, Montrose right. for six miles, and they put $12 million aside in the oh. kind of best account. Now, you want to talk and, about none of Montrose's borough's business, you know? I hear, I don't know if you guys know who Victor Furman is, but I see he posted on EID, and he's complaining about, you know, you coming down here and, you know, and Who is to, Victor Furman? He, he, I think he's from Greene County. You know, again, you know, mind your own business over there then, you know, right. you know, so, but with Montrose Borough, right? They had nothing to do with us, mm. but they helped, hey, the they helped squash our line. Simply, um, you know, we got all sorts of aid during the floods we've had. People helped us, people, not just governments, but people. Are people. you supposed to come together no yeah. matter, we're still all, we still all have red blood around each other. Each other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really, are we going to be separated by borders or, you know, county right. lines? Come on, mm. you know? Well, the people in Demick, people in Demick and Demick Township, Montrose, are all against the people on, on uh, Carter 11 Road. Families. 11 families. 11 families. 11 families. With, with the water situation. They're all, they're all for cabin. They're all for cabin. We can't. Even people in Denver, where we live. Yeah. I mean, Jean have we were just here. talking about it. I mean, you're, you're up against a lot of odds because they're all trying to cash in on the thing. Oh, yeah, my name's Ron. Sorry, Ron and Jean Carter. They live Carter. three tenths of a mile. They have uh, two active gas wells right uh, 325 feet next to their home. Oh, yeah. I will show you that. Okay. Um, they are in our wells. No, no. no. Do you they think? Did you ever sign leases? Or no? Yeah. Yeah, we did. Um, yeah. It was the same but thing. If we'd have ever known anything well, more about it, it we did. Does your lease con contain a, like, Something to do with your water to. Is there a dent in it, it that said? Yeah. It, put it back to. Yeah. So they've been here for how long, guys? So then you weren't. You weren't. You 47, 50 years? Yeah. Yeah. Ronnie, since he was you four certainly years weren't, old. Yeah. They certainly weren't drinking that water. water. You certainly weren't against yeah. gas drilling. You signed gas no. leases, right? No. We, in the beginning, you when they came, When they came, they said, uh, we didn't sign right away. We, we had some reservations. Or he said, uh, all your neighbors signed. 
I said, well, what happens if we don't? They're going to go under your land and take the gas off from under it anyway. That's what they said. That's what they said. So they don't have compulsory integration no. in Pennsylvania, so no. that was really a lie. Yes. So, well, supposedly a lie. So right there's your first lie. Yeah. Right there, the very first one. They so told that to lied to us, us from the yeah. very yeah. beginning. Our neighbors were get about, mad if you don't. I'm respond. sorry, they did. Yes. Yeah. They lied to us from the very beginning about everything. You know. You know, don't don't have, don't worry about your water. The, yeah. We test it before and we test it We've been after. doing this for hundreds of years. Or hundreds they told of you they, would, they tested it before and they would test it after? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did they ever do that? Yeah, yeah, they did. Oh, they did? Yeah. It was fine before, The water was fine it before and when they got done drilling, it wasn't. pre drill test. But it wasn't their fault that our water went bad. <laughs> yeah. So. You have Natural, to prove naturally it. occurred. No matter nothing what. That never occurred before they started drilling. Right. No matter what, what you say well, about the water. If it was there, we didn't know it. You have to prove it. We couldn't light our water. Not at we still these can't. levels, you know. But they they shut. They came. There was a representative from Cabot and from uh, Parish Company up there. They came to the door and they said, at, at Cabot's request, we want to, we would want to deliver you it coal house water and shut your well down. And they shut it off and put a buffalo in. And it was off for, what, nine months before they turned it back on the well? Before they put the frost free thing in yeah. so they could take water tests? Yeah, they just uh... for eight For eight months, we had somebody come into the house at least once a month to take a water sample. Okay. They were taking the water sample from the sink. From our sink in the house, coming out of the, the water was coming out of the buffalo <laughs> through a purification system that we had oh. put in, and that's, that's the sample. Where they took the sample from? Did you tell? Yeah. Them, did you tell them that this didn't the sense? the girl that was there the last time she was there? I said no, you're not taking a sample from the water buffalo. I said if you take any kind of a sample, you're going to take it from my well. At the time, they had the frost-free faucet at the well so that they could. She went back to the quantum lab down in the, uh, Dixon City. Went back to their lab, told her supervisor about it, and uh, she never came back. They wouldn't let her come back and test the well. <laughs> so the, all the tests they were doing were always through the faucet that was going through the buffalo. Right. And that's what, Buffalo, it was the Pavarni When did you, Hello. Yeah. but when did you, uh, cha you didn't think to challenge him earlier, or what? Well, I did, but it... <coughs> Apparently, they didn't listen to him. <laughs> I, you know, so I you guess. had told them before about... Well, I brought it up at the meetings out here. Is that why they what put are, the frost-free thing on there, so they could test it? Though? I think, yeah. Well, that's when uh, Duke University was coming. Okay. We, they were the first ones to take a sample from the well. They wanted ED. We, we had a, a faucet put in outside too. They just wanted access to it and they out there and test anytime they wanted to. We have never told them not to come here and test. Ever. You know, I know what it says in the paper, but nobody's ever said, don't use step foot We let them test. You know, well, they, they installed faucets on everybody's, you know, outside. So your well is still off then or mm -hmm. it's back yeah. on? So, yeah. but, so it's off yeah. and they can't, they're not. Whose job would it be to turn it back on when your water buffalo is empty? If that was going to be a source of water. They offered to do it, right? They did offer to do it. Turn yeah. your well back on? Turn, yeah, but they have to re-plumb everything. We have kind of like the same system that they have. Cabot put in mine. They paid for their own. They yeah, actually paid, paid for, for two. My wife and I live in a trailer. And at the time, my son and his wife lived in the trailer next to us. We use a common well, just one well. So we had to put two systems in to the tune of $7,000. So it cost you $7,000 besides all this aggravation? Yeah. And after we had it put in, we found out that it didn't take uh, methane out. The people yes. that sold it, or the people that sold it to us chemicals. said, yes, it would take methane Which they out. they do have in their well. Oh, so well. my understanding, one of the things is, you bring up a point that I 
came to my attention the other day, the consent order that they now are claiming, DEP is claiming they fulfilled, said we have to offer them a water treatment system and, and we have to put money in an escrow separated. account. Those were the two things. What's your experience been with the, tell us more about the experience <laughs> with the, uh, with the, uh, the escrow? Well, not, not the escrow, first uh, just the system. I would love to system. show you those papers. We, we had gotten the, pa the papers. It, it's, it's a dirty deal between Cabot and DEP. Yeah. It's got the word dirty written all over it. I mean, you asked but, that. Uh, I was trying to find out yesterday yeah, about if the you uh, sign that and say what you systems. Want, the system and, and all that. Guys then, there's uh, a lot comment. of other attachments. I had my well it's hooked back up. Good... We needed water. They ran out of water. We went, we went out since uh, Wednesday night. So you have had it hooked up? I had it hooked up yesterday. By Cabot? We had someone that had to come and fix uh, our well because it was the pump had was two, running There was two different right. uh, people there. Mm -hmm. One is a guy to work with a well drilling outfit. He's in his own business now. He repairs. My what? My, I turned the pump on. And it ran, or it was been on so that they could take samples. Right. Last month, my bill was over $300, my light bill. I said, well, something tells me that well pump is running all the time, 24 hours a day. And then I went out and shut it off. And then I called this guy, uh, Cooley. Much cool, much Cooley. And he worked for Kavanaugh before Kavanaugh died. And he came out yesterday. Well, while he was there, there were two guys there to hook the houses back up to the, to unhook the, the, the buffaloes. Buffalo, okay. And it, I wound up, I had to put a new, uh, new pressure switch on it and a new relief valve on the, on the buffalo. Okay, but, so you're now using that for what purposes? We're, what we, the same as we were out of the buffalo. We're taking showers, washing clothes. Not drinking. Not drinking. No, no. no. Even with the purification system, I would not drink that water. I don't even like it coming in my house, but we had to. We have didn't water. know what to do. There's yeah. families here hooked up to their pond because we don't have water. If they have, they have pond water sucking from the pond into the buffalo to bring it into the house. No. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I don't think Scott's going to do that. Um, right? He, he can't. You know, he's going to run that through his new house. You know, they need water today too. They're out. Is it, uh, Three little kids. Well, Victoria said yesterday that uh, Rich and uh, Wendy Seymour were out. And they have a business. They have an organic garlic farm. Really? And yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So, and they, so they can't use the water for that. They've, they've been afraid of losing their organic status. Uh, certification. Yes, certification. Certification, yeah. yeah. So, because you know, of, so really, oh, they used to use creek water. They have a little small creek running through their property. They used to use the creek water to irrigate with the, the uh, garlic. And they had to stop that because of the so water that, being contaminated. So this well that that is up a thousand feet up there. That two, two up there. No, two two wells. Two wells. One's they're capped fracked. because they, one is. one's capped and one's working. One is capped and the other one needs to be fracked. <coughs> oh, okay. So it's drilled. So they just did the drill but not fracked. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they got stopped. Oh. They got stopped right, right there at that one, right? Yeah. Yep. So how when how did you guys start noticing originally about your that there was a problem? It was two thousand and eight. Well, our, yeah. the way we uh, noticed it is, she was uh, at the sink washing dishes, dishes, and she said, you know, said, this here water has an odor to it. Well, I, I couldn't smell it. I can't smell hardly anything anyway, but I didn't. I couldn't smell it. The next day, she she's said, got, it's, she's got the nose in our <laughs> But uh, she said, you know, it's getting worse. And then I could I could smell it. Theirs didn't turn color. No, ours never turned color. But but it is now. <laughs> I got a whole thing. I went up to to the office, Cabot's office up there, and turned to complain in that 
something was happening with the water and the guy that I talked to, he says, well, I'm just a land man. He said, I can't do anything for you, but I'll put you on a, the phone to somebody. And he called a guy down in West Virginia that was supposed to be over to water quality. And... Yeah. Was that Wesley Smith? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, he doesn't work for Wesley anymore. Smith and I no. kind of had a difference of opinion. We all did. And... Uh, there were some words exchanged, and all we wanted was some help. Mm -hmm. And we asked if Cabot would help us. He said, well, we didn't cause the problem, and we're not going to do anything about it. Absolutely, Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I said, well, you won't even help? I said, well, the wife and I are on a fixed income. I said, uh, we need, at the time, I'm getting ahead of myself a little bit. At the time, my granddaughter and her boyfriend were living with us, and she was going to have a baby any day. And I told him, I said, I can't, I can't bring a newborn baby into here with the water we got. I said, we have to do something. So we looked into purification systems, and I had already looked into it the next time I talked to that smell. And. Uh, Oh, for some ticks and hot dogs. <laughs> oh. Hello. Hello. And I told him, I said, you seen. know, we, we had, to, had to do something. I had already looked into the water medic, the, the purification system. And he said, oh, that's, well, that's way too much. That's way too much. And, uh, but we, we went ahead and did it. We had to borrow the money and done a fixed income and put a hurting on us. But so then you found out that, that that water system was not even... Doing what he was promised to do? Right. It would well, take we out. wouldn't take the gas it out. It wouldn't take the gas out. We found out after we bought it. This <laughs> We found out before it was installed, actually. We bought it the one week. Over the weekend, we found out about gas being in everyone's water, including ours. And uh, we'd already paid for the system, and they put it in. But when I we got it, it, it wouldn't take the gas out. And I called the, the company. And talked to the salesman that sold the unit, and he says, uh, "I asked him if it would take methane out." He said, "Well, I'll call you back." He said, "I have to look into it." He called back. He said, "Yes, sir, Mr. Carter will take methane and anything else the cabinet can put in it." <laughs> <laughs> it didn't. No. And then we found out that it, it yeah, does not have remove a whole different the, system the for methane. It. And we'll have thing. to show you ours because ours is an, it's the same system, but they added on a methane separator, a UV light, palms, you know, it, it just, Would it, you have it's, four it's a great science experiment done. That's what it is. Do you have four, four different tanks? Right. How are you doing, Ron? You know, okay. We have four tanks. So I we bought I the best system they had. I think I'll there's more. 